Hello everyone, Big Game Owie back again with another collection video. As you would have seen from the title, we have got the Sega Saturn for you this time. And there's only 24 games here, so it's not going to be a very long video. So, uh, yeah, you can get through it pretty quick and you can get on with the rest of your day or watching some better content. But yeah, for now we've got 24 games and I think I've played about five of them. If that. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty good. We we'll get on with it. Some of these may be going as well, as I slowly slim down my collection. So the first one we have got one of these big EA cases, which makes it look like I've got a lot more games because they're like two or three times. Let me just have a quick check here. Yeah, like, they're just under twice as thick. So yeah, it bolts it out, and makes it look like I've got more games. So I've got a one, two, three of these. Yeah. Three of these style boxes, which makes it look like they're a bit more. But yeah, like I say, 24 in total, Sega Saturn. First up, we have got Battle Stations. So this is some sort of strategy style game. So, as you can see, EA, big, massive box. I will, I'll only show you it once, you can see how big it is. I won't do it with the other ones, I'll just tell you about the game. So yeah, Battle Stations, some sort of strategy game, using battleships, obviously. Right, next up we have got one of our lovely flying games. It's a helicopter one this time. We have got Black Dawn. Blast or be blasted. So yeah, it's already coming open. That's how bad this is. But Black Dawn. So a lot of these cases, because they're terrible, I've had to glue them back on and do repair work on them. But yeah, they're all in pretty good shape now. So... Very happy with what I've got. Next was a gift from this come from Boofy Lad. It is Bugs. He gifted me a couple of these games when I got the system just to give it a go. So this is some sort of platform style game. It actually looks quite fun. I'm gonna have to give it a go. It's one I've not played yet. So yeah, it does look really fun. Little player's little bug guy. Bugs, there you go. Trying to rip off Bugs Bunny. Actually, it's just called Bug, not Bugs. Bug. So next up is one of my favourite franchises. So I had to buy this game. Had to get it, even though I've got it on... I haven't got it on PC now. I've got it on the PlayStation. I had it on the... N64, but I sold that off now. So it is Command and Conquer. The original, so yeah. Lovely jubbly, real-time strategy game. Absolutely love it. Defend the world, destroy the world, whatever you want to be. Good versus evil. Yeah. The Brotherhood of Nod versus the Allies. What more can you say? Fantastic. Absolutely love it. If you haven't played it, please do go and play it. So next we've got another EA game. We have got... Crusader. No remorse. This actually looks like quite a fun game. I've not played this yet. It's some it's some sort of like run and gun 3D style game where you like top down running and gunning. Yeah, actually looks really fun. Gonna have to give that a go. <laughs> right, next we've got a racing game. I literally I picked this up because it was in my local CEX and I think this was the only Saturn game that's been in that certain CEX. I've got a couple of these from another CEX. A little bit further away, but this was like the closest one. And it's the only one I've ever seen in there. And uh, I had to buy it. I think it was about £10 or £12 at the time. I don't know if it's gone up since. But it's Cyber Speedway. So yeah, some weird style racing game. So as you can tell, I do love the racing games and the shooters on the Saturn. And, and the Dreamcast, to be fair, any Sega system, they're really good fun. Talking of shooters, we have got Darius. Darius 2. I actually got this from Sega Zombie. And I've still got it, Scott. Look, it's, it's still here. <laughs> it, hasn't, it hasn't been sold. I've actually played it. It's a really good shooter. Very hard, but yeah, very enjoyable. I'm going to have to give it another blast. Another game I've played. 
but it's much better in the arcade when you're sitting there on the cabs playing it. Absolute great fun. It is Daytona USA. So this one is the Champion Circuit Edition. So yeah, do love my Daytona racing games. And the music is great. Can't play it on here because I haven't got it at hand. But uh, do go check it out. And if you do want it, get the... Um, the Xbox One downloadable version because Marcus played us that and with his surround sound it sounded absolutely fantastic much better than the arcades so yeah go and get that version right next up we have got a football game so this one seemed to be quite a tricky one to come by and uh, I ordered it from CEX and it turned up it was the only one in stock lucky enough had a manual they're in all right condition I mean, it's better than most of the games I've got, but yeah, had to glue the front cover back on. It is Euro 96 England, or UEFA Euro 96 England. Yeah, official licensed product by Sega Sports. There you go. Who knew? Who knew? Right, let's move these over so I've got somewhere to put them. Right, and this is the last of the EA Big Box games. So this is a weird style of racing game. It's called High Octane. And I think this is quite sought after. It is one of them really weird and wonderful racing style games. So yeah, get on it. I mean, looking at the thing, could be a bit like, uh, just a style, just a racing, weird racing game. I mean, I'll show you the back. Because they look a bit like Mario Kart, but I don't know if you actually fire these things or whether they're just on the track. So, yeah. Alright, next up was another gift by Boofy Lad. Sorry, Boofy Lad, I've not played this yet, but it's a, it's a platform game. It's Marvel. What more can I say? It is The Incredible Hulk. The Panfum Saga. Yeah, it looks like a really fun platform game, so I'm gonna have to give it a go. Platform beat 'em upper, lovely. I mean, the box is battered on it. I, I had to glue this one together as well. Disc is falling out, but the manuals there it was all nice and complete. Just a bit, bit tatty around the sides and stuff, but yeah, it's nice. It's a good game. Well, it could be a good game. I don't know. I've not played it. All right, next we have got a another football game. Most of these I got because I ordered a big bunch from CEX and done a little roulette on them. And uh, most of them had manuals, but the cheaper ones anyway. One of, one of the more expensive ones I ordered had to go back. I was very gutted about that because I've not got it back since and I believe it keeps going up in value. But uh, yeah, very gutting. But this is International Victory Goal or otherwise Sega Sports International Victory Goal. So yeah, goal, V goal, V goal, nice little, nice little football game. Right, next we've got another racing game because we love racing games. This one's a motorbike one. I bought this one because it was literally like five pound. It's Manx TT super bikes. I think that's the order you say it in. I don't, I don't think you say Manx super bikes TT. You could do. I don't know. Whatever order you want to say in. But it's a motorbike racing game. All right, next up we have got another strategy style game. And I've I've not got around to playing this yet. And I'm absolutely gutted I haven't. Because it looks right on my street. You play as a little tank and you destroy things. It's mass destruction. And this is proper retro. Just, just look at the screenshots on that. Proper retro. That's what you need. Mass destruction. I like the fact it's in this... Rather than having the black spine, it's got like this weird browny grey coloured one. It's quite nice. I do like that. It does stand out from the rest, but still, it looks nice. Next, we have got a little shooter. I had a guy on it. I didn't like it. A lot of people rave about it. It's a Panzer Dragoon. Probably just offended a load of people saying I don't like this game. But uh, yeah, it, it just seemed clunky and yeah. It didn't move that much, uh, that well. What I wanted for a shooter. 
Next up is a good shooter, and I believe we're going to uh, be going for a high score on this, so I'm going to have to use this version, I think, and uh, beat Retro Red Steve again because he's no good at shooters. <laughs> and that is Parodius. Just need that little teddy now, what Eddie's got. That little plushie. He's very happy with that plushie. He said it was the best thing he'd ever bought. So yeah, do like my shooters, so I'm going to have to uh, get on the old leaderboard. Right, next we have got some weird style first person shooter. Yeah. Robotica. Cybernation Revolt. So I'm guessing you play as the robots and you're revolting against the humans, I'm guessing. I just want to destroy everything. That's what it looks like. Right, next we've got. Oh, we've got. We've got Sean's. Sean's favourite game here. Sean Retro Games of Life, he loves this game. But uh, we've got a little bit of a flying game. Or a couple of flying games, should I say. One flying shooter, one flying and uh, a racing game. It is Sega Ages Volume 1. So we've got Afterburner 2. Space Harrier. And Outrun. There you go. Do love Outrun as well. So all three of them on one. Can't go wrong with that. That's got to be a great value. Next we've got... Oh, I've actually played more of these games than I thought. One I've actually played. It's Sega Rally Championships. I actually enjoyed this. I wanted to play this after watching Games Over Bird Room versus Feed Me Chicken. And they were using this to race on. And set time, so I was uh, quite happy with that. I actually got to play it. I don't think I've done as well as either of them, but yeah, I enjoyed it nonetheless. Right, another racing game because we just love racing. This one is Sega Touring Car Championship. So, yeah, another just track racer. What more can you say? Right, next up we have got Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. So another football game, not played this one, it was literally a couple of quid, picked it up I believe on one of the road trips, it might have been the shop near Tootie's house, that little weird game shop you got there, but you had this in the counter for like two or three quid and I thought you know what I'll get that. Next up we have got one I had to get, I absolutely love this game back on the PC, I've got it on the Playstation one but I've also got it on the Saturn. And that is Sim City 2000. Yes, stretch of the games. Building your city, stopping it from getting destroyed by disasters and just keeping everyone happy. Making sure they've got enough food, water, electricity and all that. Yes. Right, next we have another kind of racing game. I say kind of racing game. It is a racing game, but not your traditional racing game. It is Sonic R. So yeah, you get to race around as Sonic characters rather than cars. So yeah, they're running on their feet. So yeah, quite enjoyed that one. It's not too bad. And then last one, I've not played, but it's another flying simulator game. The back is absolutely battered on it. It might, it might clean up, but I doubt it, so I'll just leave it as it is. Lovely green colour. But yeah, this I think this was another CEX roulette and come through complete so I had to get it it's the last game I've got it's number 24 it is wing arms good old wing arms so yeah that is all of my Sega Saturn collection the video has gone a bit longer than I thought it would considering I only had 24 games but considering I've played a few more than I thought I had I've actually could tell you a bit about them so yeah let me know what you think my standout game is and uh yeah, I'll dig another collection out and make another video for you, just to keep them going. I know how much you love the collection videos. I thought, why, why I haven't got any pickups? So all the games are on the shelf now. I've got nothing else to show. Let's do collection videos. Perfect timing. So yeah, thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.